I just had a facial that burned all of the, my red capillaries. <laughs> my wonderful esthetician, Ruth Ann, um, recommended doing it, especially for uh, my rosacea and stuff. She says that it will help maintain my skin, and that's what I feel really lucky that I'm able to do right now is just with going to these appointments with her is maintaining my skin. That is a whole nother thing though. My face feels like it's on fire. It doesn't actually look as bad as it feels. I did hyperventilate in the appointment though. She got close to my chin and I had a full blown like <laughs> little thing. And anyway, it's fine. I'm over it, not over it. <laughs> um, I was just really nervous and then I got thinking of what viewers were gonna say. So I'm just not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna tell you the details because I don't want people to talk about it. So. Oh, I just realized my bra was twisted. That's why it's hurting. <laughs> okay, um, the point of me pulling the camera out, that was all beside the point. Forget it. <laughs> um, I am changing Olivia's room slowly from a little, little toddler girl room into a tween room. Like I said, slowly. These are baby steps. I spent several hours in here this morning. Um, her bedding is in the washing machine. Um, she had all of her little old things that she has had out here forever. Um, these will stay in here until we have room to put them somewhere else. But um, I went through her dolls and these are very sentimental and important for me and for her. <laughs> so I went through and I got rid of the ones that were just, you know, the cheapy, stupid ones that you get from like Lagoon or something and kept the ones that like she loves and the ones that mean something to her and to me. And so I went through those and then I went through this and this was challenging because <laughs> she's becoming such a big girl and um it's really fun because that's really she look at her little books and her like deodorant and it, everything is just it's really fun to see her growing up and her changing and her interests are changing and her so her book stand is changing and so anyway I went through these and then I also went through and I'll show you kind of what I put away <laughs> um because she's this area this this age 10 years old she still wants to be young and playful and I love that I want her to have that imagination and childlike fun for as long as she will do it um and I also want to help her and help her to grow into these tween years, which is also really fun. I'm not going to um, not embrace these fun new years that we're having, um, but anyway, so I've got to get rid of the teen, or I mean the little baby stuff. Um, ju I just kept the important things. Um, <laughs> this was my Barbie Jeep when I was little. Um, there's like a, oh yeah. <laughs> A Barbie caboodle. Oh, this has to focus because this is very important. This was my Barbie caboodle. Come on, caboodle, hit me up. I would still use you to this day. Um, I have just in a more mature acrylic way. You can find it on bollybrand.com. <laughs> um, anyway, um, that's her very first Barbie doll house. That was her like doll crib and it's all full of her old little baby slippers and just like the really fun things. And this was mine when I was little. It's a Fisher Price one. And then all of her doll stuff because I'm not saying she's not gonna use these things but when she does, she can pull them out, but then we'll put them back away. Um, these are all of her princess dresses that they're just kind of put away. And when cousins come over, we play with them. But for now, those are put away. Um, her little baby doll purses. Now she has her more grown-up pretty purses. This is a thing for me, okay? Talking through it helps. <laughs> well, that's why I brought a new battery. Because I've been for a while. <laughs> you are such a and then we have oh this was the best I this was the best thing I ever did was take her and have a little photo shoot with her because her and even at this point I remember thinking she looks different she doesn't look like her little old self um, anyway we do have a video of all of those we should put that link in the description for everyone Oh, okay. So they can go watch that. Um, and yeah, Joel put that link in the description. The video in there. Anyway, I just went through and I cleaned. Um, yeah, it felt really good to get everything put away. And I told Joel, I said, 
what can we do for Olivia? Like, what is something that we can do for Olivia to help her transition into these, like, tween years? And he had the best advice because truly I was asking him because I just wasn't really sure. Like, I just didn't know what the best thing to do for Olivia was. And do you want to know what he said? He said, I think you need to be around her more. Mm -hmm. He said, when she's getting ready in the morning, yeah, she can get ready by herself. Totally, 100%. Come down in her room. Talk to her while she's getting ready so that you're in here seeing her things. You're in here mm -hmm. um, while she's getting ready. That way it opens any doors for us to be able to talk. It opens me to seeing what she's doing, what she's surrounding herself with. And I thought that was genius, Joel. This guy. I thought it was genius. I called my sister Julie on the phone and I was talking to her about it. And um, <laughs> we were laughing because we were like, Joel said that? Like, that was so brilliant. <laughs> Joel, that idiot? He came up with a good idea? Well, no, it was just really <laughs> intuitive and I loved that. So thank you. Um, all my kids. Tell me this doesn't happen with you. Have Olivia, the boys, I mean, rappers galore. It's like, I don't even know where they get their candy. I don't know where they have all this because we don't keep it in the house that often. Anyway, so, and Joel's like, it's normal. All kids shove candy wrappers. I remember doing it when I was little. Joel apparently was like a little tiny holing hoarder. <laughs> Bad. Like, at one point, I had these handmade shelves the, like they just I remember they them. rested on the the wall and there was little steel weights on the back that kept them from tipping <laughs> forward if they ever tipped forward I was gonna get knocked cold <laughs> I remember those actually and that's where Olivia gets her intuitiveness mm -hmm. is like from you in that area anyway instead of sitting the kids down like for the millionth time being like don't have candy in your rooms tell me why we don't have candy in our rooms and then they'll proceed to tell me because we don't pay for our cavities and like mouth health that whole spill after they brush their teeth oh yeah it's at night time so it sits <laughs> yeah so that and then also because i tell them i'm like do you want mice do you want mice to come in your so they're like, we don't want mice in our room and just cleanliness. So that whole spill. So they know it. They know it. It's very normal for kids to hide candy wrappers and to shove things and to continue to do something a million times after you told them not to. It's not a battle that I want to fight on mm -hmm. the regular, but I think if I'm downstairs and around, maybe I'll be able to see it. I think so. And we'll be able to talk about it. And if I'm... In here, it'll encourage them to keep things clean, maybe? I don't know. I just figure if we operate, like, on a weekly basis where we just come in and flip cells, I mean, <laughs> bedrooms, like, whatever you want to call it, you know, just tossing cells, <laughs> tossing bedrooms. Mom's coming! That's, <laughs> Joel, that's clever. You can tell what kind of shows we love to watch. <laughs> the prison one. That's not how we parent, though, I promise you. <laughs> is, this the, um, is this the cover on the bed right here? Yes. Oh this, my word. This is a cover you can take off. I just on the couldn't mattress. remember if this was the actual mattress or. Okay, sorry, there's so many things I'm gonna tell you. I'm going to link in the description Walmart. Is it from Walmart? No. Where did we get it from? The cover? Yeah. The cover's in the wash right now. This come came on the mattress. So the mattress has a cover and then also a mattress cover that's in the uh -huh. sheet? Oh, wild. Because this one is not like waterproof where like mattress covers that we get at Walmart that we will link in the description yes. have a waterproof layer, but you can't tell, like some of those you get on, you're like, am I on a diaper? <laughs> no, you, you can't even tell, but they are waterproof. And that's the one that's in the laundry. They will save your mattresses. Think about the investment that you spend in your mattress. Like our mattresses are not cheap because you, and you shouldn't skimp on your mattress. You spend so much time there. Sleep is so important. Too bad this video isn't sponsored by like, some mattress company. <laughs> um, anyway. Speaking of sleep, I learned this on the oh radio this morning. Driving First, home. let me finish. You need a mattress cover. Protect your mattress. Go on. What? On the way home from um, my workout, I was listening to the like radio little facts they give. You do realize you've been laying down this entire vlog, right? It's fine. Continue. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm laying here. Okay. It's a lay down vlog. Anyway, 
that it goes into my point. <laughs> Okay. If they've proven that people who are not getting regular sleep, and especially with elderly <laughs> people, if they're not sleeping properly, yeah. they lose short-term memory. What? It's it's cognitively related. So I'm like, oh, well, Bonnie's memory is terrible, and Bonnie sleeps terrible. Mm-hmm. So I'm it's like, true. he's pointing at me. You need to like get good sleep. Cover mm -hmm. that mattress. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. That concludes the vlog for the day. <laughs> we literally just spent 10 minutes talking in Olivia's room. But I think that was really valuable, like, what's the word? Dialogue. In information. It was really valuable dialogue. Mm -hmm. I've never entered the uh, realm of tweens, and I think this was all good info. Mm -hmm. Oh, I so, thought the puppy was loose. It's just Lincoln's hair. <laughs> should I show them the bags of garbage? Yes. Minus the two that are in the garbage can upstairs? Is there two already outside? Yes. Oh my so, one, two, three, four, and two outside. So That's disgusting. Six garbage cans from little Missy's room. Okay, if you guys enjoyed that little vlog from us, I thought it was amazing. Yeah. Give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to check out the stuff in the description, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.